This is the Lily Weeder uh, that we acquired last year. It cost us, uh, I think, in the vicinity of 17 to 1800 bucks. We bought it at that time with the gauge wheels, which is an optional uh, thing. Uh, I like it because it controls the, the height a little better. Uh, if you're in an area where your tractor makes a little dip, you don't have that action of digging in. The gauge wheel keeps it, floats it uh, a little, gives a little bit of regulation and flotation over the top of the crop. Um, I use them also for, to, to uh, adjust the tension of the springs. Um, just by pulling out, the, by lifting this up, I can get more action on top of the crop just by raising and lowering the gauge wheels. Uh, the normal way to adjust these is, is by moving this spring back and forth in this uh, bracket. And as you can see on this machine, uh, that takes quite a while. So uh, we use the gauge wheels. As a matter of fact, we use gauge wheels on pretty much all of our three-point hitch cultivators. Uh, this is an updated version of an old Dearborn weeder, which they used in the 30s. And how it works is that these tines will vibrate as it goes over the, the uh, crop. I use the Lily specifically for drag off of potatoes, uh, up to certain growth stages on my leafy crops. And uh, when crops get a lot larger, uh, spinach four to four or five inches high, I'll, I won't use it anymore. I also use it in conjunction with my baskets a lot of times. The baskets will churn up in between the rows and the action will break up the clods. It'll also mulch around the plants that way. So I use it not only as a separate tool, but often in, in conjunction with another tool. Our soil is very sandy, uh, so this, in the land that is very sandy, this is well suited for shallow cultivation. Uh, and of course, we don't want to disturb much soil, one, either to turn up weeds, or two, to, to, to let any of the moisture out, especially on a year like this where it's so dry. So this is an ideal thing. Uh, you have to use it at least weekly. Uh, I'm pretty good about it, except during strawberry season. Things get ahead of us, but uh, if you use it weekly, uh, you can get crops out without even having to go through a hand hoe. So it's, it's, it's an important item on the smaller vegetables. Vegetable farmers and their weed control machines. In this video, we visit nine vegetable farms in three New England states to talk with growers about their weed control equipment and how it's used. They will describe a variety of cultivation tools and approaches to weed control. Hopefully, their knowledge and experience will help you get a better understanding of cultivation equipment and techniques. Matching cultivation tools to the soils, crops, weeds, and other particulars of a farm can be a complex task. Growers that are trying to reduce or eliminate their reliance on herbicides need information that will help them make good decisions about cultivation and weed control. Extension, research, and the private sector working together can generate that kind of information. Funded in part by the USDA Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program, promoting environmentally sound and economically viable agriculture. This video was produced by Vern Grubinger, University of Vermont Extension System, and Mary Jane Else, University of Massachusetts Agroecology Program.